first open we first we have open steers. In class one, we have Ann Willis from George Jenkins Senior FFA. Riley Alred from Mulberry Senior FFA. Casey Warren from Mulberry Senior FFA. Sarah Clanton from Fort Meade Community 4-H. And Paige Gebhardt from Winter Haven Christian FFA. Our steer judge for the evening is Sean Johnston. Sean is from Illinois and he has shown cattle since five years old. He grew up on a grain farm with a thousand head of cows and hogs. He graduated high school from Crystal River High in Florida. He manages a purebred Brangus and Charlet herd in Lyons, Georgia. He also sells a hundred head of bulls and show heifers each year.
like to start off tonight with a really nice set of steers. Uh, I think we're going to start with a steer that, I, in my opinion, starts off this class rather easily, rather handily. Um, he's the most well-balanced uh, power steer in the class. Maybe we'd like to see a little more finish on him at this point, but at the age or the weight that these steers are uh, at right now, they're all coming in a little under finish. He's a, a really big, when you get on top of him, has some top and uh, lower quarter in him. Very, very, very well, nice balanced steer to start the class. Uh, steer coming out in second. If you go ahead and walk him out, if you would, please, ma'am. Steer coming out in second. I think uh, my, he follows that uh, black and white steer uh, rather handily. He, uh, maybe what I'd like to balance him up through that uh, hook, hips to, um, pins to hooks and, and balance him up down that top. But uh, bo uh, excuse me, a steer that has a has an adequate amount of finish on him and, and nice set of bone. And when you get him out on the move, he really moves nice and free. Steer black steer in third, uh, probably the most unique steer in the class. Has some balance to him, but I would would really like to uh, deepen him out in that flank and, and put a little more middle in, middle in him and maybe a little more lower quarter. Very nice steer though. Young lady did a nice job with him, even though he was acting up. Two steers that come in uh, fourth and fifth, just lack the overall balance and, and muscle to compete with the steers ahead of them, but both both uh, nice pair of steers. Let's give this first class of steers a nice ring round of applause. For class one of your open steers, in first place was Ann Willis from George Jenkins Senior FFA. In second place, Casey Warren from Mulberry Senior FFA. And in third place, Riley Allred from Mulberry Senior FFA. For class two of your open steers, it's Cassidy Sharp from Bartow Senior FFA, Jaden Black from Showing Out 4-H, Cheyenne Labar from George Jenkins Senior FFA, Lane Walker from Fort Meade Community 4-H, Titus Hillesim from Bartow Senior FFA, Hunter Bourne from Southern Variety 4-H. Emily Duvall from Blake Gibson Senior FFA. And Taylor O'Quinn from Bartow Senior FFA. For our Polk County U Fair Steer Show sponsors, our platinum level, we have three sponsors Kelly Automotive Group. Suncoast Credit Union and Rough Ride Cattle Service. Let's thank them for their sponsorship.
For safety purposes, please do not sit on the yellow steps.
we're going to start this class off with a steer that I think uh, offers the least amount of structural issues for me. Uh, very well balanced, nice presented steer. It gives me a nice look when you get him out on the profile. When you put him in motion, uh, he really reaches out there and takes a really nice stride. Really nice red steer. If I was going to fault him at all, I maybe like would uh, give him just a tick more bone, but that's picking on a pretty good steer. Smoky steer coming out in second. Uh, obviously the heaviest bone uh, steer in the class. We'd really like to refine him up through that front one third, uh, maybe smooth them shoulders out a little bit, deepen him out through that flank, but still a really nice steer. When you sit him in motion, he gets a little stiff off that hind end, but a nice pair of steers to start the class. Uh, nice, the black and white steer might confuse a little bit. Would you get your hands on him? He's actually uh, got a little bit of finish on him. Young lady's done a nice job with him uh, out here showing with some hair steers, no hair, it's kind of get what you see is what you get. But he's a very nice, well balanced steer. Maybe we'd like to give him a little more mass up down that top and down through that lower one third of his quarter, but still a very nice black and white steer. When we get into the fourth, fifth, and sixth steers, uh, we get into some structure issues. Steer that comes out and forth, uh, wants to break off that pin to hook and gets a little uh, rough for me through them shoulders. Has a little sit to that hind leg. I'd like to see him sit it down a little squarer for me. Uh, steer coming out in, in uh, fifth. Um, nice black steer, very well presented steer, but he wants to tuck them hind legs out behind him and gets a little round in that top, top of his quarter and a little rough down his top. Definitely would like to smooth him up to that shoulder. Steer, come, black, the black baldy steer coming out next. Um, young man's done a nice job with him. Just want to give him a little more mass, a little more da down his top, and uh, a little more qu lower quarter. Two steers to finish out the class. Uh, they just lack the overall mass and, and uh, depth and, and uh, meat and bone to compete with the steers ahead of them. Let's give this second class of steers a real nice hand over balls. For class two of open steers, in first place was Emily Duvall from Lake Gibson Senior FFA. In second place was Cheyenne Labar from George Jenkins Senior FFA. And in third place was Cassidy Sharp from Bartow Senior FFA. For class three of open steers, we have Quentin Dixon from Fort Meade Community 4-H. Colton Nichols from Southern Variety 4-H. Lily Myers from Southern Souls 4-H. Terry Ann Younger from Mulberry Senior FFA. And Sarah True from Frostproof Middle Senior FFA.
For our Polk County U Fair Steer Show Gold Level sponsors, we have Warner University, The Shirt Shack, Florida Farm and Ranch Supply, Cookie Jar Bakery, Stock Signs and Designs, Badcock Home Furnishings, Rural King, Ridge Youth Agriculture, Knight's Farm Fresh Feed, The Hotel and Tea Room, and Melissa Nichols Photography. Let's give it up for our gold level sponsors.
I would get first place. Nice class of steers here in this third class. Um, got a little type and kind differences, but we're going to start off with a steer that, for me, uh, offers the most balance and completeness and muscle and mass and sit, puts it down on a pretty good foot and leg. I like, like to see him a little freer in motion, but uh, very nice blue roan steer uh, to start the class off with. Steer come out in second. He's a uh, very well nice balanced steer i would like to change that hind leg and and uh have him sit it down just a little straighter he wants to tuck that leg up underneath him when you sit him in motion but a very nice well balanced steer let's give this young man to come out in third for a nice round of applause because he didn't give up <laughs> may have forgot his show stick after a while but he did still hung in there nice job young man he's got a steer that actually is uh him and the smoky steer are the uh most Adequate finish two steers in the class. Uh, just lacks the mass and muscle to compete with these steers up front. Smoky steer coming out third. I got we got some structure issues with him. He wants to break off in them hooks as pins and gets a little uh, stout in that front front one third. I'd certainly like to smooth him up to that shoulder, maybe deepen him out in the in that in that little flank and in, in middle. Uh, black steer coming out next. Uh, steer just needs to uh, needs a little more balance. Put him in a little more uniform kind of a package. Set that hind leg down on a little square. Let's give this class a nice round of applause. Carly Taylor from Huff and Horn 4-H. And Paige Debris from Lake Gibson Senior FFA. As a reminder, please do not sit on the yellow step steps for safety reasons, please.
for our Polk County U Fair Steer Show sponsors Silver Level. We have Oh My Designs and more, DCT Farms, Kathleen FFA Alumni, Mixon Cattle Company, Luke's Lawn Care, Missy Rainey, Puchel Cattle Company LLC, Walker Cattle, Dixie Charm Customs, Team True Veteran Advocate, Simpson Ranch, Ranch Marsh LLC. Let's give a round of applause for our Silver Level sponsors.
I apologize for taking a little longer on this class, but there's three steers here that uh, really strike you when they come out. And uh, it wasn't an easy choice, but I had to go with what I felt like was the most complete kind of steer for and the right kind of package for me. I love the balance and completeness and the depth of rib, the power this steer gives down his top and down that lower one third of his quarter. I'd like to fault him a little bit. He gets a little coarse in that shoulder. Definitely would like to smooth that out. I love the extension out through that neck. And when you set him in motion, he's really fault free. It's a nice smoky steer the young lady's leading. Not to take anything away from this white steer, the young lady's done a wonderful job. He's uh, probably the, one of the most complete steers we've had in here all night. I'd certainly like to extend him out through that front end and put him in a little prettier package, but that's a really nice fat steer with plenty of power and top and bone. The young lady's done a nice job with her. Let's give her a round of applause. Black steer that comes out in third, uh, it's probably the uh, most complete steer out of the three when you put him, just sit and look at him until you put him in motion. Uh, he's got an adequate amount of condition. Uh, very well presented steer. He just gives up a little more power than down that top and through that lower one third than the, the two steers ahead of him. But a very nice black steer, the young lady's dragon. Steer come out in fourth. I really like him when you got him on the profile, but when you set him in motion, he, he gets a little stiff in that hind leg and really misses his stride. But a really nice fat steer, the young lady's got. He's going to definitely uh, hang, up, hang a nice carcass. He's a really nice fat steer. We get into the last three steers, they just have some skeletal issues for me to get a little round in that muscle, a little uh, choppy through that top, a little rough through the front, one third. Uh, but really nice three steers to finish out the class. Let's give this class a round of applause. Nice set of steers. For class four of your open steers, in first place was Brianne Puchel from Be A Champ 4-H. In second was Elizabeth McDowell from Orange Blossoms 4-H. And third was Morgan O'Brien from Bartow Senior FFA. Ellen Fox from Southern Variety 4-H. Marissa Dawes from Fro Frostproof Middle Senior FFA. Crystal Carlson from Kathleen Senior FFA. Rachel Taylor from Fort Meade Community 4-H. Bailey Jones from George Jenkins Senior FFA. Jesse Bibby from Bartow Senior FFA. Emma Candia from Southern Variety 4-H. And Miranda Deweez from Southern Variety 4-H. Our Polk County U Fair Steer Show sponsors family level. We have the McDowell family in loving memory of Gerald Schraus, Bibby Farms, Weathering family, Weatherington family, Roberts family, and Jean and Colleen Grimes. Let's thank our family level sponsors.
Please be reminded once again not to be sitting on the yellow stairs. Please clear the yellow stairs so that people can get up and down and we don't have to ask you to leave.
nice big white steer to start this class. Uh, um, has plenty of power and balance to him. I would like to see him a little smoother through that front end and maybe when you get him out on the move, he, he doesn't quite move quite as, quite as free as I'd like to see him off that front, front, front end. But very, very big power steer, very well balanced, nice presented steer. Young lady's done a nice job. Let's give her a round of applause. Not to take anything away from the black steer coming out in second. He's a very well balanced steer, nice, complete, plenty of depth of rib. Uh, maybe just lacks the power that this big white steer has in front of him. But a very, very well presented steer. Young man's done a nice job with him. Steer that comes out in third, uh, adequately follows that steer in second. Has maybe getting a little bigger on that skeletal size for me, but. Uh, and, and maybe we'd like to put a little more power in that in the lower one third of his uh, stifle, but and very well balanced steer. Uh, uh, the young lady's done a nice job him. Steer's coming out in fourth. We get into skeletal issues. Uh, maybe we'd like to square him up to that hooks of pins and, and smooth him up down that top, um, clean him up through that through them shoulders. But a nice steer. Uh, steer coming out next. Uh, when you first analyze him, you really like him until you get behind him, and he, and he lacks that power that them steers ahead of him do. Uh, probably the, needs a little few more days on feed to, to uh, get a little more finish on him, but a nice, very well presented steer. The last three steers coming out, just like that uh, skeletal uh, structure to, to be with the steers ahead of them. They get a little round in their makeup, a little stiff off them hind legs, don't want to tuck them underneath them, get a little uh, square through them shoulders. Nice set of steers. Let's give them a round of applause. For class five of open steers, in first place was Bailey Jones from George Jenkins Senior FFA. In second was Dylan Fox from Southern Variety 4-H. And in third was Emma Candia from Southern Variety 4-H. For your open steer championship drive, we have Ann Willis from George Jenkins Sr. FFA, Emily Duvall from Lake Gibson Sr. FFA, Quentin Dixon from Fort Meade Community 4-H, Brianne Puchel from Be a Champ 4-H. And lastly, Bailey Jones from George Jenkins Sr. FFA.
tomorrow morning at 8.30, we're going to have our fitting contest for all steers. So parents in the audience, if your child has a steer and you want them to be in the fitting contest, we're going to have it at 8.30 in the morning in the area behind the beef barn, the grassy area. Pictures for Grand Champion and Reserve Champion will happen after the commercial show. Both the Open and the commercial Grand Champion and Reserve Champion pictures will happen after the commercial show and before showmanship. Let's give these exhibitors a real round of applause. This is a very nice set of steers out here for Champion Steer. Does everybody know what today is? Show day, most important day of the year. These kids have worked long and hard to get here. They deserve all the applause and attention you came to give them. Let's give them one more round of applause. I'm not going to go back through each stair. I talked to them in class, but it's a, I hope you can, from the ring or outside the ring, you can see the kind of cattle that I like. Uh, that they have some depth of rib and capacity down that top. The cattle that are free in their structure and can get out and move. When these steers all have a half sister, so they got to have them females got to go out and uh, make cows out in the pasture. And even though there's steers, they're going to go to uh, the slaughterhouse someday they still have to be able to be, move and get around in the feedlot. These zippers have done a nice job with their steers. I will commend uh, all these kids uh, for being here. Uh, they don't do it alone without their parents' help or family or their ag, ag teacher or extension agent. Uh, I want every exhibitor that comes through this ring when they get done today to thank their mom and dad because without them, they couldn't do this. I started showing steers when I was five years old. We've been all across the country showing steers uh, from Louisville to Kansas City to Denver to Fort Worth. Um, I did finish high school in Chris River, Florida and had the privilege to show in Florida a few years. Um, but nothing like, we didn't never, never got to show steers like what we're showing today. Uh, without any uh, ado, I'm gonna go out and show you the one that I think that puts it all together in the right kind of package and for me and uh, uh, then we'll pick our reserve. Thank you.
I need Elizabeth McDowell from Orange Blossoms 4-H to the ring, please. It's a nice second place steer coming out here for reserve. Uh, took me quite a while in that class to, to uh, uh, decide what really what direction I wanted to go. And because it was so difficult, we're going to keep them two steers together and this young lady's going to be reserved. Grand champion was Brianne Puchel from Be a Champ 4-H. And your open steer reserve grand champion was Elizabeth McDowell from Orange Blossoms 4-H. If I could get all commercial steer producers to the ring, all commercial steer producers to the ring, that's Carrie Lightsey, Barrett Chanley, Ray and Jeremy Clark, Doc Dukic, and Don Smith. If you can come to the arena right now, please. Thank you. Good evening, everybody. Woo. Um, my name is Samantha Summerlin. I, I am the chairman of the steer committee. And tonight, we are fixing to start our commercial show. And I want to introduce these five, or six, because you've got two Clarks. I want to introduce these ranchers to you and let you guys kind of understand what they actually have done and why we want to thank them. We have started several years ago the commercial show, which means that we are using polk bread steers, which is pretty awesome. And with that, these gentlemen will bring us their steers for our exhibitors to select on selection day and sell them for market price which is a pretty awesome thing. It is producing, this is promoting Florida cattle, which is what we wanna do, and Polk County cattle. So I'm gonna introduce these men to you. If anyone is interested in being a Polk bred, or a, a Polk uh, commercial producer, 
please come and see me. We have an application for you to fill out. Mr. Kerry Lightsey. Mr. Ray Clark. Barrett Chanley. Don Smith. Doc Jukic. So you have Lightsey Cattle Company. You have Clark, I'm sorry. You have Clark Cattle. You have Don Smith. You have a DC Cattle, sorry. You have Grape Hammock and you have G7. Please let's give these gentlemen a round of applause. Welcome to the 2020 Market Steer Show of our commercial steers. In class one, we have Jack Durker from Country Ridge 4-H and Zive Stein from Farm Fresh 4-H. A little different type and kind than what we were just in the last set of steers, but uh, still two steers that will go on and make a couple nice fat steers. Uh, uh, they just don't have the power and the uh, age on them yet, but uh, take them home, give them a little feed in them, and, and they was definitely uh, grayed out. We're going to start with this smoky steer here. Of the, uh, to me, for me, he just puts a little more balance in that package. I uh, like that definition of muscle and uh, that top that he has in him. Carries a little more through that middle one third. Uh, nice steer to start the class. Black steer is going to be second. Uh, he just has some uh, structure issues for me. I like to uh, straighten him up through them hooks to pins, give him a little more power, set him down on a little better foot and leg. Uh, he's got a Got some feed issues today, but but uh, still going to go on and make a make a, a nice fat steer for the young man. Let's give these kids a round of applause. In first place was Jack Durker from Country Ridge 4-H. In second place was Zeb Stein from Farm Fresh 4-H.
for class two of commercial steers, we have Brooke Dykes from Lake Wells Senior FFA with the steer bred by Clark Ranch. Dylan Stripling from Haines City Senior FFA with the steer bred by Clark Ranch. Olivia Thompson from Lake Gibson Senior FFA with the steer bred by Grape Hammock. Rachel Hardwick from Lake Gibson Senior FFA with the steer bred by Lightsey Cattle. Dalton Sargent from Bartow Senior FFA with a steer bred by Great Pamic. <laughs> Katie Clark from Kathleen Senior FFA with a steer bred by Clark Ranch.
our Polk County U Fair steer show, spo steer show sponsors. Our platinum level is Kelly Automotive Group, Suncoast Credit Union, and Rough Ride Cattle Service. Let's give them a round of applause. I know the young lady's having a little trouble with her steer tonight, but that's still a pretty good steer uh, as it gets away again. This isn't showmanship. This is a fat steer class, so showmanship is later. We're going to start with this black baldy steer. Uh, puts it in a really nice package for me. Has adequate amount of muscling. Uh, decent amount of finish for, for this eight wage, uh, weight, weight age. Um, Maybe we like to get him in a little, uh, when you put him in motion, put him in a little smoother package, but still a really nice black body steer to start the class. Black steer coming in second, just closely follows him, just gets a little more round in that uh, hooks to pins region, and, and maybe we'd like to deepen him out in that lower stifle, but a very nice black steer to follow. We get into the next four steers, we get into a little bit of structure issues, uh, lack the muscling, the smoky steer is gonna lack the muscling of them two steers ahead of him. Doesn't really put it in really in as pretty a package as them two steers do, but still gonna go on and make a nice fat steer. Third steer coming out in fourth, just doesn't have that overall uh, mass and capacity to run with the steers ahead of him. Uh, we just would like to stouten him up. Really appreciate the middle middle one third inning, but just no steer lacks the uh, total mass to run with them other steers. Steer coming out next, gets a little round in his makeup, sits that uh, hind leg down in a in a, a very awkward position. Would certainly like to straighten that out. Where he put him in motion, he doesn't tuck it underneath him so far. Steer coming in next, just lacks that overall mass and capacity to run with these steers uh, up ahead of him. But a nice class of steers. Let's give him a round of applause. In first place was Katie Clark from Kathleen Senior FFA with a steer bred by Clark Ranch. Second place was Dalton Sargent from Bartow Senior FFA with a steer bred by Great Pamek. And third place was Rachel Hardwick from Lake Gibson Senior FFA with a steer bred by Lightsey Cattle. For class three of commercial steers was Weston Luzier from Lake Gibson Senior FFA with a steer by G7 Ranch. Madison Mastro from Haines City Senior FFA with a steer by DC Cattle. Gabriel Chandley from Lucky A's 4-H Club with a steer bred by Grape Hammock. Brianna Monroe from Bartow Senior FFA with a steer bred by G7 Ranch. Kayton Glass from Haines City FFA with a steer bred by G7 Ranch.
our Polk County Youth Fair Steer Show sponsors, Gold Level, Warner University, The Shirt Shack, Florida Farm and Ranch Supply, Cookie Jar Bakery, Stock Signs and Designs, Badcock Home Furnishings, Rural King, Ridge Youth Agriculture, Knight's Farm Fresh Feed, The Hotel and Tea Room, and Melissa Nichols Photography. Let's give our Gold Level sponsors a round of applause. Nice class of stairs here. This third class of commercial stairs. Um, we're going to start with a stair that, for me, puts it in a little nicer, neater package. Uh, very uniform type of stair. Uh, maybe we'd like to uh, clean him up through that front end a little bit, but uh, still, that's picking on a really nice commercial stair. Maybe give him a little more top and, and stifle through that lower one third. But I really appreciate the middle in this stair. And when she gets his head up, he really gives you a nice look. Smoky stair coming out in second. Uh, it's probably the power steer in the class, uh, but lacks the overall depth of rib, and I would like to smooth him when you put him up, out in motion. He gets a little stiff off that hind leg. Nice, nice two steers to start the class. Bring a steer, the young lady showing third. Uh, um, really nice, complete package kind of steer. Just lacks that depth of rib and, and uh, mass of, mass of uh, down his top and uh, stifle through that lower one third of his. Uh, when you get behind him, but a nice, nice black stair to come out in third. Two stairs come out uh, in uh, fourth and fifth. Uh, they have some structure issues. Uh, the black stair just gets a little round up, round in his makeup. Uh, would really like to straighten him down that top, smooth him up through that front shoulder. Stair coming in next. He's just a little coarse for me in that makeup. Really would like to pretty him up and clean him up through that front end. But a nice set of stairs in this class. Let's give him a nice round of applause. For class three, commercial steers in first place was Caitlin Glass from Haines City Senior FFA with a steer by G7 Ranch. In second place was Gabriel Chanley from Lucky A's 4-H Club with a steer by Great Pamic. And in third place was Brianna Monroe from Bartow Senior FFA with a steer by a G7 Ranch.
In class four of commercial steers, we have Caitlin Monhan from George Jenkins Sr. FFA with a steer by G7 Ranch. Alexis Sch Schreiber from Haynes City Sr. FFA with a steer by Clark Ranch. Bryce Gary from Lake Wales Sr. FFA with a steer by Grape Hammock. Corbin Harrison from Tenor Rock Sr. FFA with a steer by Clark Ranch. Hunter Roberts from Bartow Sr. FFA with a steer by Grave Hammock. Samira Kelly from Lake Wales Sr. FFA with a steer by Grave Hammock. Chase Durden from Winter Haven Christian FFA with a steer by Grave Hammock. Briley Weatherington from Lake Wales Sr. FFA with a steer by Clark Ranch. Ethan Walker from Huff and Horn 4-H with a steer by Grape Hammock. Our Polk County U Fair Steer Show sponsors Silver Level, Oh My Designs and More, DCT Farms, Kathleen FFA Alumni, Mixon Cattle Company, Luke's Lawn Care, Missy Rainey, Puchel Cattle LLC, Walker Cattle, Dixie Charms Customs, Team True Veteran Advocate, and Simpson Ranch Marsh LLC. Let's give a round of applause to these Silver Level sponsors.
Very interesting class here uh, of, of uh, fat steers. Uh, we're going to start with this black steer for, uh, the young man's leading. For me, it just kind of puts it in a little nicer package. Very complete, got some depth of rib, really smooth through that shoulder, has some top in him. Maybe he doesn't have the hair or the clip job of the steer coming out in second, but when you sit and analyze him, that's a really, really nice fat steer. And that's what we came to show today is fat steers. He's going to go and grade and put up a nice carcass for the young man. Congratulations, young man. Steer coming out in second. I would really like to uh, maybe give him a little more uh, power through that lower one third and down that top. But when you put him in motion, he's a really sound, complete kind of steer. Really gives you a nice look on the profile. Maybe like to deepen him out in the flank just a little bit, but that's picking on a pretty nice black steer. Smoky steer, when he came in the ring, really caught my eye and I thought, man, this is the one I'm gonna start the, the, start the class with. But when you sit and analyze him, he has, has a few faults. Gets a little straight through that shoulder and maybe would like to stouten him up through them hooks to pins, but a really nice smoky steer for the young man. Nice job. Black baldy steer coming out uh, in fourth. Uh, I really love this steer when, we, when you sit and analyze him from a profile, but when you sit and put him in motion, he gets really stiff off that hind end. I'd really like to free him up, but a very nice, complete kind of steer. Uh, uh, he's going to go on and put up a really nice carcass for the young lady, but I uh, certainly would like to free him up off that hind end, but a nice job with the black baldy steer. Next steer coming out, we just maybe like to give him a little more power down that top and through that lower one third of his quarter and from his hooks to his pins, maybe sit him on a little nicer foot and leg. Uh, but when you still put him in motion, he still uh, stretches it out there and puts it in a nice complete package for me. Nice, nice steer for the young man. Next steer coming out, I would like to possibly deepen him out through that flank and just stouten him up from end to end. But a really nice complete steer for the young man. It gets a little stiff when you put him in motion off that hind end. Last three steers just has some structure issues for me, but they uh, still put it in a in a pretty kind of a package. But when you get behind them, you're a little disappointed. Maybe like to power them all three of them up and uh, put them a little more middle and, and top in them steers. But a nice class of steers. Let's give them a round of applause. four of commercial steers in first place is Ethan Walker from Huff and Horn 4-H with a steer by Grape Hammock. In second place was Briley Weatherington from Lake Quail Senior FFA with a steer by Clark Ranch. In third place was Chase Durden from Winter Haven Christian FFA with a steer by Grape Hammock.
For class five of commercial steers is Landon Donnelly from Dundee Ridge Academy, FFA, or the steer bred by Lightsey Cattle. Douglas Hill from Farm Fresh 4-H with a steer bred by Lightsey Cattle. Walker Hill from Haines City Senior FFA with a steer bred by Lightsey Cattle. Stephanie Ruff from Frostproof Middle Senior FFA with a steer bred by G7 Ranch. Taylor Gutman from George Jenkins Senior FFA with a steer bred by G7 Ranch. Peyton Chanley from Lucky A's 4-H Club with a steer bred by Grape Hammock. And Grant Walker from Huff and Horn 4-H with a steer bred by Lightsey Cattle. Our Polk County Youth Fair Steer Show sponsors Family Level, McDowell Family, In Loving Memory of Gerald Schraus, Bibby Farms, Weatherington Family, Roberts Family, and Jean and Colleen Grimes. Let's thank our Family Level sponsors for our Steer Show.
Pretty nice black baldy steer we're going to start this class off with. He's getting up there in that skeletal range where uh, he may be getting a little big, but he's still uh, plenty fresh. And when you put this steer in motion, he's probably as free and easy as anything we've had in this uh, ring all evening. Uh, really nice, complete kind of a steer. Really appreciate the mass of middle he's got. Maybe we'd like to smooth him up through that front shoulder, but really nice, uh, complete kind of a uh, fast steer for the young lady. Black steer coming out next. Uh, gives up some size and mass to that big black baldy steer, but when you sit and analyze him, he puts it in a really pretty kind of a package. Lacks a uh, little bit of a bone and uh, mass of bone and foot as compared to that big black baldy steer, but uh, really nice, complete kind of a steer. Uh, really appreciate the look that the young and hard work the lady's done with him. Come into third and fourth and fifth and these smoky steers. Uh, from ringside, you could probably flip a coin and do it any way you wanted, and I wouldn't argue with you if you flopped any of the three. But I'm putting this, uh, you starting with this young man steer here that I, for me, puts it in a little prettier package. Uh, maybe we'd like to clean him up through that sheath and, and uh, uh, neck rishing, but I appreciate that extension of front end he has, and I appreciate the amount of muscle on top and puts it in a really complete kind of a package. Next steer, I'd like to pretty up just a little bit, maybe smooth him up down that top give him a little more mass to the uh, bone and uh, middle and a little more lower stifle, but really pretty smoky steer. Next steer gets a little off in that top. Uh, when you put him in motion, he's not near as free and easy as the steers that's been in front of him, but a really nice, complete kind of a steer. Next two steers have some little bit of structure issues. For me, get a little round in their makeup, uh, a little off in their top, and could stand a little more middle in both of them. But a really nice set of steers. Let's give them a round of applause. For class five of your commercial steers, in first place was Taylor Gutman from George Jenkins Senior FFA with a steer by G7 Ranch. Second place was Peyton Chanley from Lucky A's 4-H Club with a steer by Grape Hammock. Third place was Walker Hill from Haines City Senior FFA with a steer by Lightsy Cattle. For class six of commercial steers is Joshua Reddick from Lakewell Senior Senior FFA with a steer bred by G7 Ranch. And Todd Donnelly from Haines City Senior FFA with a steer bred by Lightsy Cattle. While we have our last class before the Grand Champion Drive in the ring, I just want to remind anyone in the audience, if you are interested in being a commercial steer producer, you need to talk to one of the people in the pink, the pink or black steer committee shirts that were donated by Darn Apparel. And we can help you get a, uh, an application to be a commercial steer producer. We're not going to walk these steers again. Uh, we're going to start with the big steer down here on the far end. Uh, puts in a little complete more pack kind of a package uh, for me. I love the depth of rib and the mass the steer offers me. Would like to see him stand on a little more substance of bone. Second steer, uh, it's got some skeletal issues for me. Like to straighten him up through them hooks to pins. Maybe just thicken him up down that top and let's set him on a little sound of a foot and leg. But I'm tuned really to any nice steers. Thank you. Let's give him a round of applause. For class six of commercial steers, first place was Todd Donnelly from Haines City Senior FFA with a steer by Lightsy Cattle. 
Second place was Joshua Reddick from Lakewell Senior FFA with a steer by G7 Ranch. For the 2020 Market Steer Show Commercial Steers Grand Drive, we have Jack Durker from Country Ridge 4-H with a steer by Lightsy Cattle. Katie Clark from Kathleen Senior FFA with a steer by Clark Ranch. Caitlin Glass from Haines City Senior FFA with a steer by G7 Ranch. Ethan Walker from Huff and Horn 4-H with a steer by Gray Pamick. Taylor Gutman from George Jenkins Senior FFA with a steer by G7 Ranch. And Todd Donnelly from Haines City Senior FFA with a steer by Lightsey Cattle.
Let's give these uh, young exhibitors a nice round of applause. They've put a lot of work and dedication into these projects, and I appreciate it very much. I appreciate the courtesy and the, and the helpfulness of each exhibitor that's come through this ring. And uh, there's a nice set of stairs out here that, I've, that, that I appreciate that the, uh, do, the men that have donated and put the time in to give these exhibitors a chance to do this because I've done this all my life, and, and I, every day I get to get up and go to work and, and pretty much live the, the, the dream life that I've always wanted to do. I've ch chased cows all day long and love it and, and breed, breed cattle and try to make them better every day. And uh, the accomplishment of what these men have done to donate these cattle is no small feat uh, to get this quality of cattle out here. I'd like to give uh, the men that donated these cattle, if you please give them one more round of applause. If you sit and analyze these stairs, there's, there's uh, one common core and all of them, they all have balance and, and put it in a nice complete kind of a pa uh, package. Uh, there's some differences in shape and size and of course color and growth, and, but uh, they all, all have one thing in common, they're all going to produce a, a really nice carcass and, and for these young, young kids uh, and uh, put meat on the table. And whether they know it or not, they are producers. They are helping put the food supply on American table because each one of these steers will be on somebody's table. Uh, so once again, let's give these kids a round of applause and I will go out and select the champion steer. I need Dalton Sargent from Bartow Senior to the arena, please. Dalton Sargent. All right, grand champion and reserve champions, you have 10 minutes to take pictures at the backdrop. You have 10 minutes to take pictures at the backdrop. Please wait until all the other steers are out of the arena first, though. Thank you.
for your commercial grand champion was Katie Clark. From Kathleen Senior FFA with a steer by Clark Ranch. And your reserve champion was Caitlin Glass from Haines City Senior FFA with a steer by G7 Ranch. Do I need